Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a very special event, Ambassador of the Year. My name is David Hammett. I serve as President and CEO of the National U.S. Arab Chamber of Commerce, which for more than 40 years has been the preeminent portal between the United States and the 22 countries of the Arab world. To get us started today, we have a very special guest who has made a very special effort to come and join us. Please join me in welcoming His Honor, Mayor Adrian Fenty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, David, and thank you uh, to your excellent organization. I want to say at the outset uh, that in Washington, D.C., we have a lot of different things uh, that make this city world class. Uh, but at the top of that list is our relationship uh, with our embassies uh, and with the representatives from all the great countries of the world. Uh, and certainly at the top of that list is the United Arab Emirates. Uh, now, I would, if I was the mayor, I would be here uh, no matter who was uh, the nominee. Uh, <laughs> but when you, uh, when you nominate such a strikingly handsome... <laughs> well-groomed, <laughs> with an excellent choice of haircut uh, ambassador, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I would never turn down the invitation. Uh, but seriously, uh, I have had a great opportunity to know the ambassador uh, in his uh, great work. Uh, I think this is such a fitting honor because uh, I think he is uh, changing the way uh, that uh, ambassadors uh, are working with, uh, with local governments, and particularly our city, uh, the amount of benefits uh, that uh, he has uh, bestowed on, uh, on Washington, D.C. Are, are too much to name, but at the top of the list, uh, in, uh, in conjunction with uh, Joe Roberts, uh, the, the gift uh, that uh, his country gave uh, to Children's Hospital, uh, some $150 million. To I know some of you, when the mayor and the ambassador walked in, sort of did a double take it's not double vision. Don't adjust your dial. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. This morning, I took the liberty of looking up the definition for the word diplomat. And as you might expect, we have all the usual definitions, representative of a sovereign nation, official spokesperson for economic, political, cultural relations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the one that jumped out at me was this one. A diplomat is a person who is tactful and skillful in managing delicate situations and handling people. Now that's the Yusuf Eloteba we know and love. I mean, if, if, if you knew Ambassador Teba before he became famous, uh, <laughs> back when he was really working hard for a living, uh, uh, with Sheikh Mohammed, uh, and I'm not one who knows it, uh, that whole history, but you would know that, that he hasn't changed from that time to this. Uh, he was a friend of, uh, he's, a, he's obviously a supporter of his country and what they need to do in their, for their own security, but he's also a friend of the industries that come there to do business, and, and mostly because he gave us, and still gives us, straight advice. If you want a straight answer, uh, you can ask the ambassador and you'll get a straight answer. You know, the ambassador is just doing such an amazing job here and um, he's, uh, he's very energetic. Well, when um, David Hammond called uh, and asked that I represent the legal profession in paying tribute to Ambassador Alateba, I immediately accepted the honor, not only because of my uh, res great respect and fondness uh, for Yusuf, but also because of my high regard uh, for David Hammond and the, the impressive work of the National U.S. Arab Chamber of Commerce. The articulation of the mutuality of the interests of the United States and the Arab world and explaining how working closely with our Arab allies advances the interests of the United States is a passion which Arab diplomats and leaders of the Arab American community share. No Arab diplomat fulfills this mission better than our honoree today. Yusuf, number one, uh, congratulations for this. 
Uh, I knew you were going to be a rock star when you got here, but I didn't imagine you were going to be the rock star among uh, diplomats. Yusuf, you have uh, succeeded in accomplishing all those things beyond uh, mine or anyone else's expectations. For his entire career, uh, the ambassador has distinguished himself as a tireless worker on behalf of his country and a man of vision striving to improve international ties of friendship, security, and understanding. The ambassador has shown the ability to articulate a shared vision for a better world and the capacity to work tirelessly to achieve that vision through cooperation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome His Excellency Yusuf al Oteba. It's really a pleasure for me to be here and I'm truly, truly honored to be Ambassador of the Year. I would especially like to thank David Hamoud and the rest of the staff of the Chamber. Your work to strengthen the commercial ties between the U.S. and the Arab world is extremely important. It's a key part of my mission here in Washington as well, so thank you for being a good partner. The importance of building economic bridges cannot be underestimated. As a diplomat, I view this endeavor not just in terms of profits to be made, but also in terms of the relationships they create. Commerce drives people-to-people -people connections, bridges cultural divides, and creates shared, inter shared interests. And as the UAE has developed from a limited oil-based state to a diversified player in the global economy, it's done so with the help and counsel of numerous American business partners, many of whom are with us here today. Your investment in our industries creates a multiplier effect throughout the entire region. The Abu Dhabi's future energy company has taken the lead in renewable energy technology with the Mazdar project, which aims to be the first carbon neutral city in the world. The UAE is a leading investor in the semiconductor industry with plans to build a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in upstate New York. We've also announced plans to proceed with a civilian nuclear program to generate electricity and desalinate water. On this, I'd like to thank the Chamber for its assistance and support for the U.S.-UAE 123 agreement. The UAE continues to expand and diversify its endeavors. As our projects and ambitions continue to grow, we'll continue to look for new partners to help us meet our goals. As the UAE's ambassador in Washington, I'm motivated to support the expansion of commercial relations, not just for the continued prosperity of my own country, but for that of the broader region of the Middle East. And before I finish, you know, I'd like to thank, obviously, David and the Chamber and many of our partners here. But I'd like to reiterate a comment that some of them made, and that is the, the, the thanks that uh, they received, they dedicated to my staff. I think uh, as I sit here and receive this very impressive honor, I think it's important for me to explain how I view success. And success to me is very various parts, hard work, leadership, but the most important part is teamwork. I'm here today because my team is a part of the reason why I'm here. And so I want to give a warm thank you to them. And uh, I want to thank you, David, for everything you've done. Thank you. Mr. Ambassador, on behalf of the National U.S. Arab Chamber of Commerce, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your team. As was said earlier, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a fantastic job. Congratulations.